decided to come up with a reunion and I said, wow, all I can tell you is I want to be a part of it. It was the greatest time in my life for a long time. You don't have an opportunity to see people that you haven't seen for 40 and 50 years. Though we don't see each other all the time, we're so family. And all of us who are from this neighborhood, when we see each other, we know that it goes beyond just high. It's indebted in our hearts. We have that bond. My name is Cheryl Russell Blake, and I was born and raised in a house on the corner of E and Walnut, used to be A Street. And I have lived here since 1948, left about two years ago and moved. This neighborhood was so self-sufficient and I loved it. We really didn't have to go too many places because we had three stores, Ike's store on the corner here, we had Livingston, we had Mr. Lee's store, which was on D Street. Right. And uh, our needs were there. We had three cosmetologists. My mother was one and she had a business that was attached to our home. She was the owner operator only and I enjoyed meeting all the people that came to get her qualities of living and her talents. A place where I was born and raised in this community called Grant Hill. My name is Samuel Spann. I'm the, the a sibling of six children. I have five sisters and we live further down the street at 21 East Street. There, interesting enough, my father had the idea of raising some chicken, store-bought chicken. And we built a chicken coop in the back of the yard and we raised chicken and we had good chicken eating meals oftentimes. Also, uh, this community was a community we always won. We loved one another, we worked together, and we had a lot of community activities as far as playing games. As we stand on this corner now, this would be like a baseball diamond to us. This game we played called Kick It to Make It. This would be home base, first, second, and third. We had the sticks leaning against the curve, and we would kick it, and somebody was to catch the stick and run to Nuts Base and say, you out. That's a childish game. First base right there. Yes, yes. <laughs> as far as I can remember, uh, we were here up until 1963. We moved to Mount Scorner because of the interstate being constructed right beyond C Street. But nonetheless, that was a part of what happened causing the demise of Grant Hill community.